All right, guys, we got a fresh box from Bill Clegg up in up in the Northeast. And I just want to show you a picture. Lock Lab is expanding, apparently. This is a picture of his workshop. Pretty cool. Um, we got a magnifying, magnifying light here. A very nice key machine right here. We got the um, uh, Model 301 from Panavice here, which is exactly the same one that I use. Uh, obviously overhead light and uh, plenty of towels in case we have a big mess another head magnifier all the tools very neatly organized and uh, most importantly we got some WD-40 right there on the rack and a nice plush chair which unfortunately I don't have here in the lock lab main but uh, really cool he thought it'd be nice to have people send in pictures of their work areas so we can kind of compare with each other and maybe pick up some great ideas. This looks very well organized. And by the way, over here, looks like a window with some nice, bright, uh, natural light to come in there. So when you start impressioning, it makes it a lot easier. Anyway, sitting at that bench, Bill put together a whole bunch of stuff here. And he gave them kind of unique names. Um, I got it written on the side here. Here we go. We got the White House back door. We got uh, Fort Knox. We got, looks like the CIA's lock right here. All these are challenge locks, I believe. We got the Lock Lab's front door. It's not a quick set, I can assure you. Um, we got, looks like the Lock Lab's back door. I don't even have a back door, but uh, there you go. That would be it, I'm sure. And then we got all the keys. Um, I'm not going to try to sort through these. Some of these are shrink wrapped and some of them are not. I'm not going to bother to sort through those right now. What I will take a look at though is this little guy. He's kind of jumping out of me. Let's hit those keys off to the side there. This was kind of jumping out. This is what he makes all of his pins out of. Now it looks like a piece of stainless steel rod uh, of the correct diameter. And then it looks like he's taped an example of the type of work that he does. This is just absolutely beautiful. I did not see a lathe in the Lock Lab New England, in the New England office, but it's clear to me that he has something to do such a beautiful job of turning. I hope they're not in these locks, but I got a feeling that they are. Anyway, let's take a crack at it. Um, let's go ahead and start at the end here. Let's take a look at, which one was this? The White House's back door. Let me get this baby clamped up. See if we can pop open the White House. All right, let's see if we can get in that White House. I do have a key for this. It's one of the mummied ones. White House back door. Um, see if I can use top of the keyway. Let me find my tensioner. See if that'll work. And that works nice and floppy, just like we hoped. Yeah. It is a challenge lock. And if you look at the keyway, it's a Schlage keyway. Um, I'm going to try. This guy, this is my most expensive, my beauteous pick. I'm going to take a chance. Okay, so there's no crazy springs. Had there been a crazy spring, I would take this. I would have put it back. We would not be trying it, but uh, I think we're going to be okay. All right, let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and mark it, too, why don't we? I'm going to tension and go clockwise, so let's put the mark right there. All right, now let's try it. Light tension, because I saw how Bill makes his pins in that sample he sent, so I know it's probably got some serrated in here. And I'm trying to see, it feels like it might be getting pinched. Despite my thinnest pick, let me try to pick. No, that's not going to work. There we go. Pin three. I'm going to click off of him. I thought it was getting pinched, but it's just hanging up on the pin. A little counter rotation there on one, it looks like. Got it one click. We'll stop there. That was pin five. I accidentally got three clicks on him. So I probably overset. It is getting a little bit hung up. I may have to go to my 
um, rare element picks. I'm getting counter rotation on four. I got a little fault set there. And nobody else is talking. Oh, here we go. A little bit of, tiny bit of counter rotation there on pin three. I don't want to break, this is a rat yoke pick. I probably should have mentioned that up front. So I can't afford to replace it. And I won't have to. Look how it's, it was really hung up there. But uh, even though it's 15,000, it was still getting pretty hung up. I probably should have gone right from the beginning with one of these rare elements. But we got it. Let's see what Bill put inside of here. Let's look at the beauteousness of his pins. Um, let's go ahead and look at his key first. Uh, if I where'd my knife go? There we go. Oh yeah, I like that one. See a nice low cut right in the front, protecting all those high cuts in the back. But when you got, when you're able to pick from the bottom of the keyway with a high rise pick, it doesn't matter. The only time that's really going to come into play is if you have a little bit of a paracentric keyway. Works beautifully. You didn't hear anything, no rubbing at all. Just goes right by there. Beautiful. All right, let's gut it. to take them all the way out of the body. Makes things a little easier. Turn that around the correct way. So Lock Lab logo is the way it ought to be. Get that out of here, get all that stuff out of here. Where'd that key go? Right there. Yeah, man, that'll work. Let's see if it's a standard tailpiece, and of course it's not. Ah, all right, no problem. Improvise. Get on, come on. All the edges on that little detent are rounded off, so it's kind of hard to keep it on there. And the maximum range of an excuse is zero. I get it. Come on. I may have to replace that with a new one so it's nice and sharp. So whoever takes this apart next won't have to suffer through this. There we go. Woo, man. That's pretty worn. Okay. Let's turn. Oh, okay. Whew, thought something fell out of that. That was the, for the detent. All right. I'm going to turn him 90. Let's get a nice medium follower here and slide him out. All right. Everything looks normal except pin four. We got a little bit of oddness on him. Oh, look at there. Pin two is. Is that. A serration. It's hard to tell through the camera lens. Well, let's pull them out and look at them. Yeah, I believe that is. Well, we'll look close in just a second. Let me get them all dumped. That one has definitely got some serrations on him. Three. Three is standard. Four has got serrations, and five is standard. It looks like one is undercut on both sides. Two is threaded. Three, I can't tell through the camera. Yep, definitely under, got some mil, undercutting in there. Threaded, threaded. So undercut, undercut, and then the other three are threaded. My freshly demagnetized tweezers. Oh, beautiful. Look at that pin. It's actually a mirror finish in the center of that spool. Wow, very nice. And that is on an undercut cylinder. And it looks like that is also threaded. Tiny little popper spring. All right, number two. 
Look at that one. Also another very beautiful looking pin. Very, that almost looks like a screw, but it is a screw, I think. Huh. And let's see, that one's also threaded. Number three. That looked like he was, oops, where'd he go? He was oriented, let me get it correctly here. He was oriented like that. So number three is on an undercut as well. It looks like a chess piece. Little weak spring. All these springs are the same so far. Number five. Look at that one. Another one. These almost look like commercial pins. These are so beautifully done. Serrated. Very nice. Very sharp. Same spring. And the last pin, also another one of these beautiful serrated jobs. I mean, it really is mirror finish. Very nice. And another one of these little springs. So all the springs are identical. Let's take a look inside of here with my new light that I know works. I wonder if we... Probably better to show it from this side. It looks like number one, two, three. Every single hole is threaded with coarse, very sharp, coarse threads. We got plugs in the top, so he turned it into a training lock, but we didn't need to take those out of there. Anyway, that's just beautiful work, Bill. On the, so I got into the White House back door. I have to steal a pingney and get the heck out of here. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Bill, I'll get to the rest of these. And thanks for sending the picture of the Lock Lab New England office. Appreciate it, guys.